This conference will now be recorded. Uh, good morning, can you hear me? Uh, uh, today we'll see uh, how to get the logins in Salesforce. Uh, would anyone like to share your screen? Suresh? Who would like to share the screen today? Sindhu, Kartik, Lakshmi, Deva. Hello. Um, I'm having slow internet connection, Ram. So I, I'm facing some difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you can see my screen. Yep. Great. To get the login in Salesforce, you have to go to developer.salesforce.com and then do a sign up. Uh Excuse me. Um, hey, this is Manoj. Uh, Ram, this is my first class, so I'm I'm actually not seeing anything on the screen. It's it's just the participants on the on the black screen. Am I saying right? Uh, actually, I'm sharing my screen. I can see it now. I can see it. Yeah. Now I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so okay. go to developer.salesforce.com and click on a sign up. Once you do a sign, I mean, once you go to the sign up page, at last provide some details like your first name, last name, your email address. Role can be anything, company also can be anything. System that you got. Reason, pin code, everything is uh, like you can give any value. Like, you, even if you're a fresher, you can give simply as uh, SFDC or Salesforce or IBM, Wipro, anything you can do. Okay, there won't be any issue. And rollers, even if you give uh, uh, administrator or architect or CEO, everything will come as the same manner. Okay, when it comes to username, see if you see here, username is in the form of name at the rate your company.com, or you can give it as an email. You can give the same email ID. If the username that you have given is unique, it will allow you to create, else it will throw a duplicate error so that uh, you can send it. It should be in the form of an email. Okay. Once you do a sign up, Salesforce will send an email to your uh, email ID with which you have mentioned over here, your email address. For the verification, once you click on it, it will ask you to verify the password. Okay. So there, in the next on the other screen, it will ask you to just set the credentials. First, that 
you can directly go to login.salesforce.com and log in using your credential so example these are the three different uh, users i'm using you can you you can have any number of credentials on the same email id but username must be different so i'll go with the first one So the, mo the moment you log in, this is how the Salesforce screen looks. Okay, and here you think that uh, okay, I have registered for Salesforce uh, login, so I got credentials. No, actually, you have registered for Salesforce organization. So it looks similar to the way that you have registered for Facebook, but when i register with facebook what will happen the moment i log in i can start communicating with my friends or i can start sharing my pictures or polls whatever right but in salesforce the moment i create an org i can start creating some users in my system okay for example if i go to users See, apart from me, let's say Ramos.com, I have created a couple of other users like test at the careerit.com, test at the test.com 21. Like I can create any number of users based on my requirement. Okay, these people will also get logins into the same org. Okay. Clear? Now, today we'll see how it works for an end user. Okay. Then later on we'll see uh, maybe from tomorrow we'll start looking into the deep. Uh, so I'm the person who created this org, so I can see the setup screen and all. Okay. In that case, Ram, how was how it looks for an end user? For an end user, he will choose one of the applications. To switch, uh, so this is called as an app logic, the nine dots. If I click on this view all, you'll see the list of all the applications that are available in the org. Okay, as I'm an admin, but when it comes to an end user, he can see the applications, he can see only the application he has access. For example, let's say he has access to sales application. The moment he logged in, it will be redirected to sales application. Okay. Now, the UI might be a little different for you, the home page, but more or less, it's a similar uh, uh, UI will be coming here. Now, what do you mean by an application? What is an application, by the way? You mean in the context of Salesforce or uh, or just yeah. in general? Uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, if you're talking about apps, it's like connecting Salesforce to a third-party application. Let's say we are using GoToMeeting, right? Let's say we are connecting Salesforce to GoToMeeting, something like that. Is my assumption right? See, application is uh, at a high level. Mm -hmm. Application is nothing but a feature mm -hmm. which will have multiple tables mm -hmm. of data I mean, a, a, a process which follows to mature your data right? okay mm -hmm. for example let's say uh, i want to open a bank account okay so what should i do should go to the bank it does uh, when as Ram wants to open a bank account, it doesn't mean that the moment I go to the bank, bank will open an account and give it to me immediately, right? Got it. I have to go to multiple people, get it signed. Maybe they'll ask for references, they'll ask for you the page slips, all this, especially, or to make it very simple, like if I want to take a loan, because accounts these days, everyone is giving, giving for free. 
the loans yeah people will come to your house they'll collect your documents they'll collect all your signatures and then they, they'll say wait for four five days and then your once your loan is sanctioned they'll let you in this four five days is it like they'll just collect your documents and they go there and uh, uh, give a stamp and give it to you no right they'll have to verify whether these documents are original or not right whether it could be your pan card details or whether your uh, whether it could be your basic details the company that you are working everything will be verified properly by the verification team once everything is done then also they'll see what is your salary and they'll check how many loans that you have taken earlier based on your pan card post that they'll check whether the the amount that you are looking for are you really eligible for that particular amount for example let's say i'm getting 10000 every month consider i can go at a max of maybe uh, 1 lakh or 2 lakhs but what if i ask for 1 crore it's uh, it's very evident that if the bank has given 1 crore loan to ram who is getting a salary of 10000 definitely he may not be able to return in his lifetime so they won't give They'll say, "Boss, your maximum is one lakh or two lakhs. That's it. We cannot give you more than that, right?" So, which but which means that bank is following a well-defined process to make sure whether an account is uh, whether a person is qualified to become a customer of a particular loan, right? Can we consider this entire process as one single application? Maybe a home loan process or a personal loan process. The one will where we'll have different uh, teams. The one, right now. Similarly, an application is nothing but a collection of uh, tables with well-defined process by the organization to mature the data that is there in the organization. Okay, or to make it very simple. application is nothing but collection of tables as of now okay now in the previous session we were discussing about sales application as i have already opened sales application what is a sales application Anyone? Um, is it is it something where we record the sale process like collection lead collection of lead data and uh, categorize leads and then and then understand the whole journey from the lead to a customer? Okay. I'm not sure if that's right or wrong. Yeah. More or less. So in the sales process, what we'll do? first we'll do marketing right because people should be aware of your product first right let's say if you are doing it for the first time you should market your product so that people will get to know about your product they'll come to get the details of it and then they'll start looking into uh, i mean they'll they'll check whether they can buy this product is there is your product is worthy in buying all these details correct right. now how that is defined in sales hi ram this is sandhya i have a small doubt yeah. this is demo class or, or um, continue the class this is uh, a uh, uh, second session second not session yeah this is not demo no no this is not a demo okay. uh, First session. Your voice is break. Is this your is this your first session? Yes. Okay. But yeah, demo. I uh, I think you might get. Even today also, I'm not gonna discuss anything. This is something which is already defined by sales. I'm just giving you a heads up, like how it works for an end user today. Okay. I just have uh, given how to get the license in Salesforce, and I'm just discussing about one of the applications so that 
I want to introduce all these features. What, what are these tab setting bars? All these. Okay. Uh, the moment I access a particular application, if you see here, there are a lot of sub tabs. This is my browser, right? Browser has browser tabs, right? Similarly, application will have application tabs. For example, as I discussed earlier. I said Excel uh, Salesforce is an automation uh, uh, or automated Excel sheet. Right? So when I consider Excel, for example, I don't know anything about any application. Let us say I started I started a very small organization, maybe a grocery store or whatever. Okay, now. Or let's say I have a, a, yeah, a groceries. Now I have two things here. One is I want to maintain the details of the products that I'm buying from different vendors, right? Every, uh, if you go to any of the grocery stores or even if here, if you go to come, uh, the uh, stores like Big Bazaar or Reliance, they won't buy the products on one particular person, right? Because they do have vegetables. They'll, they'll do have uh, this uh, soaps, etc. etc. They do have this dals, uh, sugar, even uh, uh, some uh, uh, junk foods, all these things, right? So you can't get one single vendor who can supply all these things to your store, right? You will have multiple people, and I have to maintain that details. Second thing is, I have to maintain the details of the products that I have sold to my customers. Correct. So for that, what I'll do in general, I'll maintain. Like if you go to a very uh, uh, I mean, uh, age-old uh, feature, you'll go. Uh, you'll take a book. In that book, one book. Uh, either I'll maintain two different books for two different things. One is for vendor list and one for uh, my customer list. Or I'll maintain a single book with different different pages. Correct. Now, let us go to next level where. I have a system, but I don't know anything about any application. So what I'll do, I'll open two Excel sheets. One sheet, one uh, two Excel files, I would say. One file for vendor details, like uh, uh, about maybe the purchases, and the other file is for cu uh, customers. Agreed? Will that be okay? Which means I will have vendors or i would say excel file it could be a vendor to maintain vendor details or uh, or i would say purchase details or sales details These are the two Excel files that I will maintain. Will you agree for this? Is this clear? So, for example, in this case, book one, consider it as sales details or maybe a purchase details, any one of this, which means I have two Excel files for this. Am I correct? Any questions in this? Anyone? Okay. Now, when I open an Excel sheet or an, uh, when I open an Excel file, I'll have multiple sheets here. Right? So I start, I, I want to use this feature. One way I'll say, uh, I'll maintain the customer list, list of customers. Let's say, I'll just give serial number customer name what else maybe email phone number address etc etc okay now when i say serial number one i will say sandhya is my first customer our email ID is s at the rate 
address abc now suresh is my second customer this phone number is 324546 address let's say abc and finally his email id is s at the rate s dot can i capture the details like this for second person I would say this is customer. No. Similarly, no. I maintain some transactions, etc., etc. I'll maintain multiple sheets to capture multiple details. Now, is this okay to maintain the details like this? Someone said no. Why? Excel is allowing me no. Uh, but tables to will not allowed. Sorry? Tables will not allowed. It is allowed, right? It is allowing me. No. no. Which when means whatever the, the structure I have defined at the top. Till the end of that uh, table, like even if I have thousand customers, one crore customers, I have to follow the same order, correct? And now these are called as sheets, correct? So what I'll do is I'll have sheets in it. What sheets? In our case, let's say customers or transactions. okay then inside a sheet what you have yes of course this is this is wrong inside a sheet what you'll have you have tables correct what is the purpose of the sheet customer it helped me to access the table data the customer table data correct so inside the sheets what we have tables or I would say after sheet you have tables. And then inside the tables, what you have? Rows and columns. Am I correct? This is a row, this is a column. Now, tables, yeah, more or less the same thing because sheet helps me to access these tables. Rows are nothing but records which is let us say in our case it is sandhya's record columns are nothing but maybe customer name email etc This is how I will melt it. If let's say I am owning Big Bazaar and let's say I'm not, I don't have any tools uh, to implement, I just have an Excel, so I'll maintain the sheets like this. Now, Big Bazaar wants to use Salesforce. What they'll do? In Salesforce, the files are nothing but applications. Because, see, if you consider this as my system, because this is my system, in my system, I can have any number of applications, correct? Sorry, any number of Excel files I can generate. Similarly, in my Salesforce org, I can create any number of applications. So that is why you can see these are nothing but the list of applications that are there in my org. 
clear then inside applications or inside your file what you'll have tabs when i open an application what i have i have sorry here in excel you have sheets we will call them as the technical name for a t if a sheet is nothing but tabs clear now what if i open a tab the purpose of a tab is it helps you to access the data of a table which is nothing but object okay so which means the technical name for a table is object technical name for a row is record and column is field for example let us say if i want to create a new record in this opportunity i'll click on new button so this is a tool right so it is asking me i mean it is uh, instead of showing you a single row like the way you have entered here it has given me a place where i can start capturing the details of that particular opportunity okay for example if i edit this record it is allowing me to capture which means row is nothing but record table is nothing but object column is nothing but field for example in this case opportunity name is one column if you consider it as an excel sheet close sheet is one column next step is another column type is one column stage is another column the technical name for a table is nothing but a field any questions anyone till now If you are able to relate your Excel sheet with Salesforce, yes, that's a good. Rest all is easy only. I have one question, Ram. So let's say if we have the application changed to Service Cloud or Marketing Cloud, there won't be any change in names of tabs, objects, records, and fields analogy, right? It's going to be still the same. More or less the same thing. See. Okay. Uh, the clouds which are nothing but uh, I don't want to make it complicated uh, when I speak about multiple clouds it is it is basically the licenses that you are buying okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the more number the higher version of license that you are going with the more number of features you will get got it got it yeah that's the only difference yeah. so it's like added features to each uh, uh, cloud in case if based on the licenses that's being purchased Correct. Any more questions, anyone? Now, let us have a deep dive here. So, which means opportunities leads tasks files accounts contacts all these are nothing but my tabs and there every tab is helping me to access the data of that respective object okay it helps me to create a new record in that object and at the same time it helps me to access the one also now i know that there is a record called ram or with name ram somewhere but i don't know in which object it is saved what should i do like for example i want to know uh, what is the meaning of ram i'll just search for ram in your google search and i enter i'll get a lot of details right so what basically sales when I mean, your google is doing 
it is going to its server getting me a query of all the details whose name is matching with ram okay? see it is even showing you ram details also right why so it's not going anywhere else it is searching from its server right similarly we have a search bar on the top here if i type ram it is exactly the same thing that it will that uh, your google search is doing what your google search does it is searching for this particular keyword in its server similarly when i search for ram here this global search is searching for this particular keyword in entire your salesforce org not the entire server of salesforce okay the space that is given to you by salesforce is 5 mb like when you are uh, registering for a new org which is free salesforce will give you a maximum of 5 mb data or 5 mb space so in that how many ever records that you have so it will show you everything for example if you see it is saying that you have one record in people uh, one record in trainer four records in students one record in customer contacts m customers and all and okay in that case ram in students why kumar is coming i open this it is its first name is ram which means it's not just checking for your name, main name of the record it is searching whether that particular string called ram is there in any of the records or not and it is giving you the results yeah any questions anyone and here we are calling it as google, google search here we'll call this as global search. That's the difference. Yeah. Now, next to global search, what we have. For example, let us say, uh, this is my record. Okay. So somehow I search for that particular record. I don't know in which object it is. So I search in the global search. So finally, I figured out this is my record that I have to work. I'm not going into the de uh, deep details of your records and all, so because you will have multiple sub tabs. We'll discuss about these things maybe tomorrow. Okay. So let's say I have to work on this record. Started working, changing the statuses. Things are fine. I have updated a lot many fields. Now I went on leave. Let's say for this entire week I was on. I'll coming. Uh, I'll be on leave. So I'll be coming maybe on next Monday. Again I'll forget. Right. So again I have to go to the search bar and search for it. I have to spend some time instead of wasting your time like that by searching again and again. If you feel that you are working on the same record for some uh, number of days, then you can make that record as your favorite. by clicking on the star symbol. Next time, if you see, there are a lot many records. I have already kept some of the other records as my favorite. For example, let's next time I, I was on different application on different screen. Let me go to some application. Anyway, this won't be visible to your end user. End user will just directly go to this application. Now, I'll just go here. See that is still there. I'll open that up. As simple as it. Okay. Now, let's say I'm a salesperson. I have to gather some details of a particular contact. So I'll go to Contacts app, then hit the new button, fill all these details. Okay. For example, I want to capture uh, Suresh details. So he is in an urgency. So now I, I even, which means that I can't 
has no time. I have very less amount of time. So in that time, how Suresh will help me to fill those details? Because I have a lot many things to fill all the details. So instead of doing this, what I'll do is I'll go to this plus. I'll say new contact. This will show me. This called as global actions, where it will show me. It will also help you to create the same records, but in a shorter form. See, to speak to a person to get the details, I just need first name, last name, email, and phone. That's it. If possible, he'll provide your account name. If not, let's say. Okay. Likewise, these are when we have multiple global actions, we can create our own actions also. Okay, if I want to send an email, I'll simply send an email. Okay. Any questions, so, anyone? Yeah, so I just have one question. When you say we can create our own global actions, apart from the list that's displayed there, uh, if you can just hover over your mouse there, uh, mm -hmm. and and their list of like set of actions right like task mm -hmm. log call and all so we can create our own active action or activity here uh, as a need of customer or as a need of organization so they can use it as their own need is it is that correct yeah okay okay and does it change with each tab let's say when you go to sales tab you will see global actions related to that and in oh, service no, you have is not related to any application okay and it's common across all applications okay yeah. perfect thank you it depends on your access if you have access to create an opportunity then then only it will uh, show you that new opportunity option okay then whatever we are doing here uh, i mean whatever you are learning here you can learn directly from salesforce also uh, i think they'll charge around two thousand dollars also per admin or uh, per uh, uh, I mean, per course they'll charge around two thousand dollars also okay, if you want to go to the details you can go to the guidance and uh, okay then question mark as every other technology, it is a help screen where you can start raising your case Salesforce. Now, for example, Salesforce says that okay, the moment you open a home tab, you'll see a report. So I've created this before, things are working, but when it comes to my home page, it's not working. So no. sir. Yeah, I log in this one Salesforce username and password. Is, this is asking. Mm -hmm. uh, username I, I put into some uh, uh, new name. It is a free How trial. Uh, see, you have to give the right username that you have logged in earlier, right? No, I did not uh, log in earlier. Then you have to do a sign. Achha, this is a free trial. This is a free trial. Salesforce, na? You go salesforce.com. Yeah. You yeah, go uh, our work email, sign up, everything I written here. And uh, I agree, I select, I agree, I agree to master subscription agreement. Is it correct? Yeah. After that, start my free trial. Yes. You will get an email ID. Oh, uh, okay. To mail, to mail, uh, you will get an email. From there, you have to send uh -huh. your password. Oh, uh -huh. okay, okay. First, you have, first of all, uh, I mean, we have to verify our email ID, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, continue, sir. Please continue. So if I want to raise, uh, now I feel like, okay, Salesforce has given some features, but somehow that particular feature is not working for me. Okay, maybe an access related issue or something. So whenever I raise an issue, I mean, whenever I have an issue, I can raise a support request to Salesforce from the help symbol. 
but you won't get any help because uh, you are not an authorized user we are using the trial version in our cases when uh, when whosoever is working on the original licenses or paid versions we can raise a case so that sales force will reach out back to us uh, asking for the issue and uh, they'll help us to resolve as well okay post that you have a gear icon which says setup service setup console page i'll discuss later okay when i say setup this is the place where a developer can see setup or service setup anything where there is the place where we can define the applications objects classes components everything any configuration related issues or customizations will start from setup okay and salesforce when it started it started with two clouds one is sales cloud and service cloud so uh, for service cloud it has separated the setup so more or less the same thing but there are few more features that are available in service cloud and those features are there in your service setup that's it okay then the bell icon which basically used for your notifications so i can see some notifications from you whenever i have post this it shows my profile where when if i go to my settings it will show me all my user details or my advanced user details up to our settings authentications password change connections grant login access all these details we'll discuss about these whenever when and where required okay any questions anyone till now like now for example in this if i say my salesforce support can access the system for one week and save from uh, using my user id salesforce people can log in into my organization for one week continuously they can do the transactions and all without a password they will log in okay they log in as you clear any questions anyone So what are we going to do tomorrow? Let's say tomorrow we'll discuss about the sales application again and as an end user itself. We'll start creating the record. We'll discuss about the flow first. We'll see which tab is coming under which flow. We'll discuss and we'll create one record uh, and we'll process it. Like let's say whenever an inquiry comes, uh, how we are going to turn that to a customer and how the customer will buy the product, all these details. Was that we'll discuss about one some random application on an Excel sheet, okay? And next to say, uh, uh, post that uh, we'll start defining that app application in Salesforce itself. Because as I mentioned earlier, uh, Salesforce is nothing but an automated Excel sheet, right? So we'll again go back to an Excel sheet itself. We'll discuss about the simple application first. I'll go with a very simple or real-time applications. Okay, maybe a banking sectors or maybe an education organizations or maybe uh, a travel agencies, whatever you can pick anything so that it will be easy for us to connect because our my intention is not to give you a complicated ex uh, example, speak too many things about the business uh, terms and then give you a confusion. Instead, my intention is to make sure you are able to understand the concepts if you are going with a simplified application then it will be easier to understand the concept and of course it's once you understood the concepts right whether it is a small grocery store or a, even if it is a, a, a showroom of uh, 
may be a Rolls Royce. Customer is always a customer, right? Rolls Royce also will take customer's phone number. Even the grocery store also will take customer phone number. First of all, you should know why these num uh, customer trans. Uh, I mean, how we are capturing the customer details. Right. Likewise, we'll go with some uh, some real-time examples that you are using. Based on that, we'll define the application. Okay. Any questions? Anyone? Make sure your logins are up before you are coming tomorrow. I will ask one of you to share your screen tomorrow. Yeah. Bye for today. Hi, Ram. Bye, yeah. Uh, Ram, can you just stay for uh, two minutes once everyone gets uh, dropped? I will discuss with you. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, Karthik, you can you can go on. Oh, okay, Ram. Actually, uh, we have received means I have received an uh, message from Career IT. Like today will be the last session for us, and uh, we haven't got any update on that. So once when I joined to the link, uh, what they have shared, it seems to be a new session has started again. So will we have any uh, last session or any uh, class actually, like that? Uh, okay. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, we didn't start. I mean, as no one joined, uh, we didn't connect it. Um, but uh, I'll ask them to schedule another session. Because this, I mean, uh, I mean, for all the other people, uh, we have already come and gave a commitment around uh, a week back, saying that the batch will start on Tuesday. So okay. as I think we're around 20 or 30 minutes is what is left over from the previous session. So we thought okay. of closing. Today, but uh, I'm not sure whether it might be a miscommunication or you might have forgot. There's no one joined yesterday. So we thought, like, let's not break uh, the new people because they, I mean, here uh, we didn't even know how many people are coming and all, right? So that is yeah. where we thought, like, okay, let's continue with uh, the new thing. And for you people, uh, again, the career IT will inform you uh, for the next session. It will be either today or tomorrow. Yeah, sure, sure. Ram. Yeah, thank you so much. Probably that might be due to the daylight saving start. I guess that might get people got confused. I guess so. Okay, yes. fine, Ram. I will be in uh, touch with uh, Career IT and I will. Uh, I'll ask Lakshmi to continue. Yeah, sure, Ram. This is yeah. again uh, Sanjay's husband. You know, uh, we are the first session. Like uh, she is going to join. Uh, okay. So we don't know exactly what happened in one or two sessions back. So do you, this is a fresh, fresh batch you are going to start or, you know? Yeah, this is a fresh batch. Yesterday I just gave an intro about what is Salesforce, what is the cloud, etc. Uh-huh. And this, okay, uh, you can consider this one as a fresh one uh, because uh, today if you see, uh, we have created a login in Salesforce, right? So we have seen high level what is Salesforce is, what's free, how many screens you'll have. We have compared with an Excel sheet. A very yeah. basic sorry I, I was not part of this like uh, she was asking and uh, uh, she just want to know and uh, she just started and she has some questions so that's why if you have like quick 15 minutes uh, you know tomorrow sometime before you log in uh, I mean, first of all I, I would request uh, uh, I will ask career writers to share you the ex yesterday session details mm -hmm. okay because there, I just have told uh, like what is a cloud computing and uh, how what is Salesforce in it, uh, in it all these things. Okay. Ask her to have a look at that video first, and if she have any questions, yes, we will spend the time and we'll uh, discuss about it. Yeah. So can you could you can you remind uh, Career IT for the same? I think they have already shared you the link. Oh, it's a YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
మనేనా క్లాస్ లో తన రన్ అడుక్క చాలా లేట్ గా నడుస్తుంది 8:30 కి అప్పుడు okay then uh, let's connect tomorrow uh, kartik uh, lakshmi will be in touch with you yeah yeah sure ram thank you so much yeah